And so, so now I have my shear equation, V of X. Now, my moment. And the moment equation, is, I think, is a little bit e easier than the shear because I don't have to think about my sign as much. And I don't have to think about the initial shear, the initial moment. Because unless there's an initial moment given for whatever reason, there's not going to be a moment here. Oh, but if you start for segment two, there is going to be an initial moment, so you will have to figure that out. But in this in this case here, there's no moment because there's no initial moment. There's no moment at this point because there's no distance. You recall that our our moment equals a force times a distance, perpendicular distance, and if distance is zero, moment is zero. So there's no initial moment. So we just have to integrate this part right here and. I'm going to switch it a little bit and do W of X squared over 2 equals, oops, plus W O L X over 2. And now for our slope. Our slope is. Um, I'm going to try and find this equation. I, I call it um, data of data of x, but really what I'm doing is I'm, I'm finding this term right here because it's this whole term that I use to integrate in order to find my elastic curve. So let me say, let me just bring it over here. So we have our moment. I'm going to bring in the moment equation. W of x squared over 2 plus W of L x over 2. And that's going to be in, integrated in x and then plus our constant of integration, which is also the I theta of naught. And so when we integrate integrate our moment, we're going to get negative W O X cubed over six plus W O L X squared over four plus And we don't know what this is right off the bat. Like we were able to figure out the moment, and we were able to figure out the shear uh, from the from the shear and bending moment diagrams, uh, and just from uh, using logic about the moment. Um, but um, this one is this one is a little bit different, but it's the same idea. Very quickly, we'll be able to discover what that is. And the way that we do that is we go back to our diagram, and and so if this is if this is our curved beam, well, we need to think about um, so now now we go back to our our diagram, and we are going to observe where theta. Or observe that that theta equals zero when x equals L over two. And so once once we do that, we can substitute in L over two for x wherever we see x. So basically, our, our equation is going to be EIO, EI theta of L over 2 is going to equal negative W of L to the third over 6 times 1 over 8. I, I just like to write it like this. Um, 
so it's easier for me to do fractions. Um, plus W of L to the third over four times one over four. And so I see that we have 48 and we have 16. Um, if we times uh, 16 by three, we'll get 48. So we have negative W of L third over 48 plus W O L the third plus three times W O L to the third over 48. And so this is going to equal probably two times. because it's going to cancel. So we've got W O L to the third over over 24. And now we have so this is going to be So right here, we, can, we can't forget to keep our um, moment of elasticity, or modulus of elasticity times our inertia times our initial slope. We can't forget to bring that along. So that carries over. So we're going to see that because state because theta at this point equals zero. Um, so basically, our constant of integration equals negative. W O L to the third over 24. And so we can take this and plug it back up into here and we have we're going to have our equation um, in terms of in terms of x and this is going to be a constant then.